it's writing Wednesday and I wanted to well I thought about recording this video up in my bedroom wearing pajamas or something but other than the fact that that would have been a bit too much for the internet I think um, it's about being comfortable and honestly I'm most comfortable in this chair with books nearby in jeans and a t-shirt but what I'm really thinking about here is what I'm comfortable with as a writer and what all writers are comfortable with because I think as writers we all have a comfort zone and whether it's a certain genre whether it's a certain type of story a certain type of character that we always like to write who is usually some variation on ourselves but not always even stylistic things like you always write in the first person or you never write in the first person or you always write in present tense or you never write in present tense uh, I think we get really into these ways of doing things and there's good and bad to that I've been thinking about this lately for a lot of reasons. First of all, I read this young adult novel that my daughter read and enjoyed, Fangirl, really loved it by Rainbow Rowell, who's probably best known for El Eleanor and Park, but Fangirl's a great novel too. And I mean, the vast majority of readers who read this are gonna read it primarily as a love story, which is great, because it is a great love story. But it's also a terrific story to me about coming of age as a writer. The main character in it, Kath, uh, is a writer of fan fiction. And within the world of online fanfic, she is a big star. She has a devoted following of people who love her fanfics. Uh, and then she goes to university and she takes a creative writing course with a very highly respected writer as the prof and her prof is completely dismissive of her writing fan fiction as you would really expect from a lot of university profs a lot of them don't get fan fiction as a genre and so this particular author pushes Kath to leave her comfort zone and try to write realistic fiction which Kath is just like I can't do that I can't do that and that's one of her big struggles among many in the book I guess I was thinking about it for other reasons um, I read an interview with Sean McCann a musician I really admire talking about his decision to leave the wildly successful band Great Big Sea that he's been with for 20 years and he talked about how one of the reasons that was an impetus for his leaving was the fact that in the music business it's really important to develop a brand so that people know what they're getting when they buy your CD and and he's not interested in that. He wants to do different things that don't fit the brand. And I think writers find that too a lot. I think there is a lot of pressure within the writing world to develop a brand so that if people pick up a book by Trudy Morgan Cole, they know what kind of book they're going to get. That hasn't really worked well for me because I've done several different things in my writing career. And sometimes I feel that if somebody who read one of my biblical novels that was written for a Christian market, for example, you know, if they pick up one of my historical novels that's set here in Newfoundland and written for a more mainstream market, they might find it jarring. It's, it's not what they expect. It's not the kind of writing they expect. It's not the kind of story they were hoping for. I think there's something to be said for developing a brand, particularly if you're writing genre fiction, but I also have to say I have great respect for writers who don't fit within a specific comfort zone. One of my favorite writers growing up was Madeline L'Engle and I love the fact that even though she's best known for a work of children's fiction, A Wrinkle in Time, that I guess you would call sci-fi, maybe fantasy or sci-fi, uh, she's done so many other things. I mean she wrote non-fiction, she wrote children's fiction, she wrote mainstream fiction for adults, she wrote historical fiction, she, she did all kinds of stuff. Despite issues that I have with Canada's first lady of fiction, Margaret Atwood, and certain things I don't really love about her work, I do love the fact that she's all over the map. She's always doing something different. And she could be writing a contemporary novel like Cat's Eye, and she could be writing a historical novel like Alias Grace, and now she's doing these uh, dystopian sci-fi novels, and I think that's fantastic. I really believe that writers need to push themselves and get out of their comfort zone, and I realize there's a tension between that idea and the idea of developing a brand and a style that readers can be familiar with and trust and I think this is something I haven't really worked out for myself as I'm on the cusp now of thinking about a new project and wondering what directions I'm going to pursue what type of thing I'm going to write I wonder how other writers find it do you stick with something that you're very comfortable with and that you know works for you do you constantly try new things and if so does it work or doesn't it in what ways do you push yourself out of your comfort zone as a writer so I would love to hear from other writers on that one in the comments or on the blog or wherever talk to me about that because it's something that I'm still working through and I really don't have the answers